The West German Embassy siege in Stockholm, Sweden, was carried out by the Red Army faction on 24 April 1975. Collectively, the attackers refer to themselves as Commando Holger Mainz, named after their comrade Holger Mainz, who had died after starving during a hunger strike in the Whitlitch prison on 9 November 1974. The RAF group carried out the attack because they wanted to free RAF members from prison in West Germany. During the siege they stated, the Holger Mainz commando is holding members of the embassy staff in order to free prisoners in West Germany. If the police move in, we shall blow the building up with 15 kilos of TNT. The siege, the group consisted of six members. Karl Heinz Delwo, Siegfried Hausner, Hannah Elise Crabb, Bernhard Rosner, Lutz Taufer and Ulrich Wessel. They entered the embassy, took 13 embassy officials, including Ambassador Dietrich Stoicher, hostage, and then proceeded to occupy the upper floors of the building. They warned Swedish police to back off or some hostages would be killed, but the police did not comply and one of the hostages, Baron von Meerbach, a German military attaché was marched out onto the landing and shot to death. The group was then told that Chancellor Helmut Schmidt was not prepared to negotiate with them. In response, economic attaché Hillegard was made to stand at a window and was then shot three times. With the murder of Hillegard, the attackers announced that they would execute one hostage every hour until their demands were met. Swedish police prepared to storm the building, but before they had the chance to, the embassy was rocked by a series of violent explosions. The TNT had been detonated. Ulrich Wessel dropped a grenade, which detonated and killed him. The remaining hostages, as well as the rough terrorists, all suffered severe burns. Siegfried Hausner was flown back to West Germany, where he soon died of his wounds in prison. The explosion of the embassy was caught on tape. Swedish news reporter Bo Holmström was standing outside the embassy ready to broadcast when the explosions took off. After taking cover Holmström started yelling, Lagut, Lagut, to make sure that he was on the air. When he knew he was live he began to report from the events.